there's no one like him who can put it over. There's some historians and there's historians, but this fella. He makes it like enthusiastic and he involves the audience and I just, I just think they're quite good. If I had teachers like him when I went to school, I would have been a lot brighter because I tell you what, he makes history fun and anything he teaches you, this fella is the best at teaching Liverpool history. No one knows it like Frank. <laughs> Hello. Now, you know that we're in a courtroom, and I swear that I'm going to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth of our history, our wonderful Liverpool history. And it's just great to see uh, you wonderful people here who take an avid interest. And when we look back, you know, through our history, what we have, we have these wonderful characters from history. We have wonderful buildings from our history. We have an abundance, an abundance of history that we take great, great, great pleasure in uh, reading, whether you look at my DVDs, we just celebrated two years ago, three years ago now, our 800th birthday. And during that 800th birthday, we have an abundance, as I've mentioned, history. And when you look at some of the characters that actually built Liverpool, the likes of the very first fella ever to come here and say, right, I'm going to do something. And I'm going to do something for King John. I'm going to do something for the new borough of Liverpool, and I'm going to do something for myself. So what he decided to build was a castle. And he built the castle where Victoria's monument is today. He said, yeah, let's have a go. <laughs> so he built it. And it was built by 1235. 1235. And it was garrisoned. It was garrisoned with soldiers, obviously. And then they decided to have these streets leading to the wonderful castle. And this is through this. When the capital of culture started, when we got the, 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 the capital of culture title, I had to bring around these wonderful people, you know, who had just come to Liverpool and was working in, for the capital of their culture company. And I was walking that around. So I was saying, yeah, look at this, and look at that. And they were, oh, isn't that great? Said, oh, great, Dal, oh, look at what, what was there? I said, our castle was there. They went, go away, did we have a castle? <laughs> and these are councillors. <laughs> did we have a castle? And I went, yeah. Go away, where was it? I said, have a guess. He couldn't guess. Someone said, Duke Street. I said, why did you say Duke Street? Why Duke Street? Because Dukes build castles. I said, no, Castle Street. Castle Street? Yeah, never thought of that. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's absolutely genuine, that. But we built this wonderful castle. We built this wonderful castle, and you had to have people to build it. Because there was absolutely zilch here in Liverpool. There was nothing. There was no such place as Liverpool. So on the 27th of August, 1207, we got our royal charter. King John. King John gave us our royal charter. So Liverpool became Liverpool. And then he sent for, to believe it or not, the Earl of Chester. And the Earl of Chester, he said, you know, will take over and overview and oversee the building of the new borough. But his antiquary who came up to this end, to this neck of the woods, said, oh, he calls you for everything. He said, go away, did he? He said, no, he's a scout, he's a king, John. That's why he lost his treasure in the wash. <laughs> 